real hero is the Avatar. Hey, what's up guys? It's Aladdin. Some crazy new news regarding the live action Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix series hit the internet and we gotta talk about it. But before I get started, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. It definitely helps out the channel grow and lets others like you stay tuned with the latest shows and movies. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified right away when I drop my next video. Now, it's almost been a year since Netflix has announced that a live action series for Avatar The Last Airbender would be hitting their streaming services. I've actually covered this in a previous video where you guys can check that out on the top right here. I'll also leave links in the description so you guys can check it out later. But short story short, the main creators of the original animated series Brian Konetsko and Michael DiMartino will be returning as the writers and showrunners for this new adaptation of Avatar. Over the months though, we haven't actually gotten any huge news regarding the live action, but we've gotten some little details and news from previous cast members talking about how they believe the live action will be good and won't be as disappointing as the movie. We know Konetsko and DiMartino are working very hard on the script right now, and I really don't want them to rush it at all. Take as much time as you need just so we can get something that looks perfect. Now it won't be the same like the animated series since they are saying it will be a retelling which I'm assuming it might mean that they will follow the same storyline from the animated series but have a different approach of telling it and maybe even adding more in depth to our main characters. They might just add more of a background story than the animated series did which I'm totally fine with. But a casting hasn't been announced yet which is why I'm very surprised. Just because the date as of now is scheduled for a 2020 release which makes me think that they might have already picked their actors that they want to play the characters. But then again if they haven't casted their main characters yet they will be doing that in the upcoming months just because 2020 is just around the corner and we do need to eventually see who will be our main actors for this live action. I have high hopes for this live action and I really do want to see it succeed and do well. Avatar is a huge part of my childhood growing up and knowing that there's going to be a live action is just incredible. But also it scares the shit out of me because I honestly have no idea what to expect. However, the original creators are on board for this so I think everything will be just fine. Anyways, a few days ago, a production assistant or a visual artist worker on set ended up taking some shots of the set where he actually got a little glimpse of what seemed to showcase Fire Lord Ozai sitting on a throne as well as Katara and Sokka hanging out at the South Pole. We should definitely say a prayer to our man the production assistant for getting us some new leaks of Avatar. I know you most likely lost your job like 100% but you are in our prayers man, you the real MVP. Now I highly doubt that these shots are actually going to be in the final version of the show. I think what they're doing right now is just trying to see how everything will play out and look on screen so they're probably just making fake scripts for the actors to act out and all. Since they don't officially have a cast for the show just yet, I think they're using these actors that resemble to the characters a bit and just trying to see how everything will play out before moving forward. The creators also have stated that they want to make the actors as quoted, cultural appropriate and non-whitewashed, which seems to be promising. But I do have to say, I wouldn't mind if the cast was white or if some of the characters were white, as long as they fit the role and make it believable for me to believe that they're that character. Otherwise, if they can't do that, then I understand if they don't want a white cast. Another thing I noticed from these images is the fact that they're heavily relying on a lot of green screen. I think it's great that they're actually using green screens, especially for scenes that might be impossible to capture, maybe due to location or just can't find the exact location for some scenes and all. But I also think that they should avoid using green screens as much as possible and actually see if they can find certain countries in the world that they feel would capture the world of Avatar. Which also reminds me that there were also talks that they might be shooting in Vancouver and Hawaii, which if it is true, it might not be that bad. A lot of successful TV shows have shot their seeds in Vancouver. For example, a lot of the CW shows like Arrow, The Flash, and Supernatural have filmed there, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Avatar being filmed there for a couple of episodes as well. But Hawaii was definitely one of my top picks that I was hoping they would go for. I just think Hawaii has that perfect scenery for the Fire Nation to be at. The Fire Nation is basically located on tropical volcanic islands and when thinking about any real life places, Hawaii just comes to my mind right off the bat. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some episodes in Hawaii. Obviously not the whole season of season 1 but maybe just a few scenes of it but nothing crazy. However, I can definitely see them filming the majority of the other seasons in Hawaii once they get to like book 3 which will mainly take place in the Fire Nation. Now the guy that was the production assistant on set also had a few comments to share. He said, I got a chance to work on a visual effects test for the new live action series and thought I'd share the experience. We filmed two test scenes in a huge green screen studio in Los Angeles. One in Lord Ozai's throne room and the other in a tundra with Katara and Sokka. All the backdrops were keyed digitally. From what I gathered, Netflix has reached out to multiple visual effects 
Netflix companies to do these sorts of tests, so this was just one company's bid. Word on set was that Netflix was planning to film most of the show on location in Vancouver and Hawaii. Somebody also said Netflix wants this Avatar series to be their own Game of Thrones. James Lee played Ozai, Kevin Garner played Sokka, and Kate Buati played Katara. I'm 99.9% .9 sure they were just stand-ins for the tests, but James Lee sounded like he either auditioned or was planning to audition. The throne room scene just consisted of test shots of Ozai sitting on the throne, with one leg up which did not seem very Lord Ozai to me, so I hope they don't actually treat him that casually in the real thing, and standing and walking down, nothing crazy. The oddest thing was they insisted he wear a hat as the Fire Lord. Sokka and Katara scene had dialogue and some action. They were bickering about Sokka's boomerang and how they need to hunt for fish when a group of moderators spotted them and chased after them. Katara yelled and threw up a wall of ice or something, and then Sokka exclaimed, Katara, you're a waterbender. She reeled in shock like she had no idea. Not sure if this is actual dialogue from the official script, but it's weird to me that Katara wouldn't always know that she's a bender, let alone that she would start off with enough power to shield them from three big guys chasing after them. From what little I saw, I hope Netflix doesn't end up leaning too heavily on green screen backdrops and that they actually prioritize the real locations. Also hope they don't twist the story too much, although I know they've said it's a retelling. We'll see. But that's everything he had to say while being on set and observing it. What I found really interesting was the fact that he said that someone there also said that Netflix wants this Avatar series to be their own Game of Thrones. I actually believe this to be true. This could potentially be the next big series for Netflix as long as they calculate it right and execute it according to how it should be done. With the visual effects in today's time, I have no doubt that they're going to find the right company to do their visual effects. The visual effects in today's time is just far more advanced than it's ever been, so I know for sure that they're going to nail this out of the park. He also mentioned that they did both scenes of Fire Lord Ozai and Sokka and Katara in a green screen studio in Los Angeles. This was actually expected. As I said earlier, they're just trying to set up everything slowly right now just to see how everything's gonna look out before they actually start doing the filming and finding the exact locations for where they want it to be. I did like how he also stated that he doesn't want Netflix to just lean on green screens, but to actually go out and find similar locations that might resemble to the world of Avatar. I think it'll be a balance between the two just because there might not be an actual location for some of the areas in Avatar, which is why they'd most likely use a green screen for. But overall, the less green screens and the more real Real locations the better plus having it in Vancouver and Hawaii would also be a good idea and lastly he did mention how the actors that were playing Ozai, Sokka and Katara were just stand-ins for the test and all so they're not the official actors playing the characters however it was said that James Lee who was playing Ozai sounded like he auditioned or was planning to audition for the role what also fascinated me from this was the fact that it seemed like Katara had no idea that she was a waterbender back in the animated series it showcased Katara waterbending literally in the first episode so for her not to be water bending right away in the live action is kind of a twist. Overall, I can't wait for this. The date is stated for a 2020 release, which is nearly just around the corner right now. Most likely, Konetsuko and DiMartino already have the scripts done for the first season, so they're probably just getting ready to have a casting call for the characters and finding the locations where they're going to film. I honestly can't wait to see this live action, and I truly do hope it does work out and it becomes the next big show on Netflix. I'll be making more videos on Avatar right away when it drops, so if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I just want to say thank you all for watching and if you haven't already hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't by now. Also hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified right away when I drop my next video. If you don't mind share the video if you thought it was good and want others to see it. Check out my other videos regarding Avatar The Last Airbender in the next video. Thank you all once more and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.